Once the starter is good and strong, meaning that when you feed it, it rises to double its original size or triple, we're ready to bake with it. And in order to do that, we're going to take most of the starter, put it into a larger vessel. I like to use one of these Pyrex measuring uh, cups, which is just over a liter. We're going to take most of our starter, five scoops of our baking flour, and enough water to get that flour stiff. Once that's mixed, we're going to let it rise just like we do with the starter, and then after that, we will mix the bulk. We put it in a bag so that no fruit flies can get in and because it's a pretty moist environment in there we want to keep that moisture in while it rises. A clear bag helps us see that it is in fact rising. And because we've used up most of our starter we're going to want to give that a feed and put it back in the fridge or leave it out on the counter to rise. It's up to you at this point. So what we've just done is we've taken our starter, which had risen and was full of active, hungry yeast, and we mixed in most of that starter into the leaven, which is really just another bigger amped up starter. So we're scaling up and we're incrementally increasing the amount of fermented dough we're working with. We're going to do the same thing from the leaven to the bulk. So we're just scaling up how much fermented dough we're working with. Because uh, if we think about what the starter is for, the starter is really just this sustainable little piece of active dough that we're keeping in the fridge. And then when we're ready to bake, we need to increase the amount of dough so that we've got a nice big clump to bake into bread or pizza or bagels. And that's what we're starting to work toward with the leaven. The leaven is the halfway step toward a nice big ball of dough, which we'll be working with in the next video.